Toots and do dits. Okay, welcome to another dyno. First one of the third rail's own locomotives. Uh, this is the 34 GE, the original incarnation. It was also only the second 3D printed loco I ever built. With the first being the same as this one, just the orange one is standing at the back there. And the one prior to that was the 32 I built by hand. Now, I've just weighed her at 5.1 kgs. So she's 300 grams heavier than the SD70 from USA Trains. So I hope, I hope she pulls a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to do the quiet ones. Without, that, uh, we saw the other time that there's zero effect um, on the amps. This machine pulls enough amp to let her run with full sound and smoke. And it makes it more spectacular. So who am I to kick against um, the universe? All right. So wheelbase, first axles, center to center, 280 millimeters. 70 moles shorter than the SD70. Okay. Uh, right, so we're going to start it now. Let's see, can we just switch this on? I hope you can see there, but I'll give you the readings and you'll just have to trust me. All right, but you should be able to see there. Okay, so let's start her up. I'm going to pull it away slowly up to speed step in the middle of the speed range. Actually, current draw, dudes. I don't understand how this works. Might you? I do. The current draw on this, on that run, was two point one four amps. Now I didn't check when the smoker was because this has got full dynamic smoke, different to that other one. Whereas this smoker, I've jumped out of it quicker. So I'll see what the AMS does now when she just starts putting in there's a lot of smoke. Because it's the element that pulls the AMS. Okay, so 2.14 AMS. Draw bar on the first one. You know, I saw over two there. But it was consistently jumping between 1500 and 1740. So let's go 1740. Okay. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. Now we're going to run it up to maximum and just hit the stop button and see what she does. Let's bring her back and get it to north. It's more always there. Okay, well, work with, let's just dare it north. Right, let's see what happens. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Thank you. 
I saw was 1580, but it was consistent at 1500. So let's do that at 1500. All right, 1500 grams on the door bar. It's quite a bit stronger than the SD70, I have to say. And that surprises me because these, back in those days, I didn't worry much about weight. I mean, back in those days, it was just to get a loco that runs and tracks well and don't fall off the track and, you know, at least pull some wagons. It was never, you know, in the planning to build a hell of a heavy loco like the new ones. Scale weight was never an issue here. I never actually aimed for that. All right. Um, this being a shorter wheelbase connects and ties in with what I think the theory I have with the shorter the wheelbase is, the harder they pull. Um, but we will get to that right at the end of all the dyno tests. Then we will discuss that thing. I will make a jig with different wheelbases in the same weight and we can check what it does. Right, I'm talking crap. Uh, the amps there... Because the smoker was not on. 2.08. 2.08 amps. The amps is more for my, you know, just so that I know what's cooking. Right, now we're going to do it like I did the other one. We're going to go to speed step 10, which is three quarters up the line. But I'm going to pull it off like um, normal. You know, just run it speed step, speed step, speed step, speed step. Like I like to do them. You know, so that you can see the smoke. So let's do that. To bring this baby back. There's no, yeah, that's clear. We clear it. Right. Let's do it. I will put it in the description. Okay, so we have an average pool 1740 plus 1500 plus 1735 equals 4975 divided by 3. 1658 average sixteen fifty eight grams. 
switch that off. 1658 grams. Now, with a tear of 5,100, Thirty-two point five percent. Thirty-two point five percent. The efficiency that I wrote on that other one is actually not right. Um, a guy said to me, "I'm actually measuring adhesion here, which is actually right." So maybe we should call this the factor of adhesion, whatever. But well, seeing that I wrote it there, I'm just going to carry on with efficiency. 32.5%. That was 26.9, the SD70. So for some other reason, this thing is 6% more efficient. I, I, I'm saying it's the wheelbase and the little bit, it, it, the weight will go sort of in proportion. I still say that a wheelbase difference here makes a difference in the way they pull. They pull harder if that's shorter. Check that big 34 now. When I put that on you, it's going to have the same thing as that. It's going to pull less. Um, I don't understand it, but we will get to the bottom of it um, before the end of my YouTube career. We will get to the bottom of this. Right, dudes, that's basically that. Um, I am going to do a video in the week Something that happened uh, not too long ago, well, two days ago, a uh, fellow modeler, some stuff that was said. Uh, it's not politics, really. It's just something that I picked up over the years with these concerning 3D printing. So keep your eyes peeled, your ears peeled for that one. Um, I would have to write a bloody speech to say exactly what I want to say. There's a slight little bit of anger in my lower back, which if I had said it now, I would probably be a, a right arsehole about it. So I'm going to calm down and then we'll discuss it like grown-ups, um, especially the Gage One guys. Um, tell me what you think when we get there. And uh, yes, that's the next video. All right, dudes, thank you. I'll see you later. Good job, Tot ziens.